I lost my leg as a child. Um, I was born with a condition called proximal femoral focal deficiency, which in the simplest terms just means that um, my left leg was extremely shorter than my right leg. So when I was seven years old, we elected to have my left leg amputated above the knee. Instead of becoming depressed or getting down about it, it was like, okay, well, my leg is amputated now and now I'm gonna have a new prosthetic leg and I just gotta figure out how to strap it on and get back on the playground. You know, I, I didn't waste a whole lot of time feeling sorry for myself. I mean, of course I had dark moments, but they wouldn't let me wallow there. You know, instead of focusing on the one leg I didn't have, I focused on the things that I had. I still had two strong arms and I had a strong leg and I had a great mind and, and a really powerful spirit. And I think that's what really saw me through. Growing up with a disability wasn't easy. I was the only kid in my entire school with a physical disability that you could see. The only one that wore a prosthetic leg. And it wasn't easy being the only different kid. And especially having a physical disability, um, I was the weak link in a lot of those team sports. You know, I was always the last kid picked for the kickball team. I struggled to even be included in the team sports, you know. I tried everything. My parents always taught me to at least give it a go and give it a try. But quite often, I would be met with teasing and taunting. And I think that experience of being excluded profoundly changed me. There's a little part of me that's still that little girl that's trying to prove to the world that I don't want to be underestimated and that I don't want to be excluded. And I've kind of gone to the other extreme. You know, I've, I've gone to one of the toughest endurance events in the world. I wanted to prove that a woman with a disability deserves her chance to compete in the world's toughest endurance sport. I wanted to prove that it could be done and that a woman with a disability could do an Ironman.